Hi everyone, a very quick video for Punchestown Day 4. It has races which I struggle with, so the video will be very quick. I have one selection for uh, the Friday, and it's in the 705. It's Willie Mullins MC Muldoon at 4 to 1. I just feel at the moment the way the races are going that I don't think you can buck any other yard back Willie Mullins. The handicaps look exceptionally hard and the horse I fancied is a horse who hasn't run for a long time and also comes out of the Bromhead yard who, who are really struggling this week. So the only horse that I'm going to have any wager on tomorrow is MC Muldoon. I think the form's strong from the race at Fairy House. People have said it fell apart, but um, Echoes in Rain won this week. The third finished second. Both of them beat Blue Lord, who ran in the Supreme and would have finished second. So for me, I think that form's strong. I think MC, MC Muldoon ran a good race in that race, and I think at 4-1 to one he's worth a bet. I, I just can't... Uh, recommend that you buck Annie Sackle and Bob Bollinger, but I can't recommend you buck against horses who won in that style at Cheltenham. The stable are so out of form, Henry de Bromhead, and the, obviously the Mullins yard are in serious form, but could I recommend a bet on Gallard Dumanil? I, I, I couldn't really, if I'm honest. He was beaten too far to say that uh, he can reverse that form, even with the yard's form being sensational at the moment. I've had a bet for Saturday as well, just to say that, I mean, it's not a good price, it's not one that uh, I would recommend you go piling in on, but I just felt Concertista didn't run a race at Cheltenham when she was beaten by Black Tears. I just felt she, her jumping was sluggish, she wasn't quite right, um, she, she hit the front too early, but uh, I just felt she wasn't quite right on the day, and so I have had a bet on her. When I put these videos up, I'm putting up horses who I buck. And I can't just put selections up for the sake of it if I'm not putting the money on. I looked at Stone Mod in the, the final race, the bumper, but I'm not going to back him because he's too short. So I can't really put that up as a bet for other people to go and have a look at because I'm not backing it myself. I hope I will have more selections for Saturday because Panchestown is on plus the Guineas meeting. At Newmarket over the both days I can preview them both and I would hope that I could find a couple of selections that I think are value and that I will be barking in, the, in those races a bit easier than I find the Friday at Panchestown. I feel that if I was giving out selections on Friday at Panchestown they would be they would not be selections I would be happy with and, and I just feel I'm only going to put things up that I'm actually going to back. I'm not going mad on MC Muldoon, but I will be backing him. Uh, and at 4-1, to one, he's on the edge of value. If he was any shorter, then I'd probably walk away from him as well. So that's all I can recommend for Panchestown. Um, I look at some of these races and I just shake my head. The, the Hunter's Chase, I can't seem to make anything of any of the Hunter Chases at any of the festivals. So I've had to walk away from it. And... Um, yeah, for me, MC Muldoon's the only play I'm having. Like I say, I've backed Concertista for Saturday. And uh, I hope to have a couple of other horses that I'd be interested in for Saturday and Sunday when I come back with a video for that. So if you're having a bet tomorrow, good luck with it. I hope you do well. I'll be back to you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.